So here we are again at the uh, base of Mount Beacon. The snow today is a uh, hard pack. I've got the snowshoes on just because they've got the uh, crampons that help with the grip. I could probably go without them, but I would uh, I'd rather not slip and fall. And uh, I just like to play it safe today. So hopefully I will uh, be able to top in no time. So here I am making some pretty good time. Just approaching the, uh, the first area. Um, basically, my last video, I uh, had a hard time making it just to here. But uh, I'm feeling good. And uh, having a trail already packed down is nice. Instead of sinking, you know, two feet into the snow. So I'm probably going to push forward and uh, try and make the uh, South Fire Tower. See you there. A great day for this. <clears throat> Temperature's rising. Sun's out. It's a crystal clear day. There's no uh, no feasible wind. And uh, it's a really nice day for a hike. Glad I brought my snowshoes. Um, the snow's a little bit hard packed still, and there's a trail, but uh, it's pretty slippy. And uh, glad I have the crampons for the snowshoes. It's really uh, it's making a big difference, and I don't have to be as uh, as careful while marching up. Um, simply because I just have a lot better traction. You can see where someone tried to come with uh, no snowshoes and just whoop, sinks right in. So pretty neat. got my uh, BX-8R attached, running uh, APRS with the uh, GPS mic, and uh, I have a beacon going every minute or so, um, just letting people know where I am, and uh, later when I go back I have a nice little zigzag up the mountain, it's kind of cool, but really it's, uh, it's for safety, um, you know I, I hike alone most of the time, and uh, it's nice knowing that if I was injured or hurt, or stranded, I could, uh, you know, I could uh, try and, you know, ask for help, and uh, they'd have my GPS coordinates, so they'd have a, uh, a good idea of where to find me, and, uh, you know, it's just something you gotta think about in the back of your mind. So, we are on the uh, red scenic Hudson trip. We're cruising, and uh, I haven't seen a single person up here yet. Grand, I usually get started pretty early, but uh, it's such a nice forecast. I figured maybe more people would be up in, uh, on the mountain. We'll see. Probably on the way down, I'll see a bunch of people. Through the trees, there's the uh, fire tower destination, and uh, almost there. I'm on the ridge line right now. Uh, between that landing right there and the uh, fire tower hill. Um, it's really nice out. It's just uh, There's some radio towers. And there's the goal. This is K2FR. I just reached the uh, fire tower, which is on the south peak of Mount Beacon. Um, soda identifier Whiskey 2, 
EH003, Mount Beacon, New York. I'm at about 1,580 feet. The highest point in the Hudson Valley, as far as I've been able to find. I'm gonna break out my, uh, my gear here and uh, see if I can make my uh, four contacts. So here we are, up on top of uh, Mount Beacon. Got my gear set up. I've made my uh, four contacts on two meter for my summer down the air activation. I'm just setting up my dipole and uh, I'm going to give it a whirl, see if I can make a couple contacts in 20 meters and then probably uh, book it on out of here as it's uh, getting a little bit chilly with the wind. So let's, uh, let's take a look and see what we can do here. So I made my uh, four contacts. I'm all uh, packed up and uh, we'll start heading down. I always like to uh, look the area over once more just to make sure I don't leave any uh, any parts or pieces because boy that would suck getting down and having left like a mic or part of an antenna or something up here. Onward we go. 